Humans, what is up? This is my most anticipated shoe of all of 2024, I think. There might be something that comes out later that I don't know about, but this is the one I've been waiting for through most of 2023. Um, it was supposed to release late 2023 or in the last quarter, and it got pushed into 2024, first quarter. So January 19th. For 110 bucks, the new Ishad Air Max or Air Max Ishad releases. I'm so hyped on this shoe. If you guys got the original Ishad shoe, it was pretty narrow in the toe. This one for me is not as narrow in the toe. It's more true to fit. It has a roomier fit to it all the way around and just feels really good. Um, let's just go ahead and look at it. I'll talk about it as we uh, peer into the boxes here. Um, so I'm saying really true to size on this shoe right here. This is your white varsity red colorway, and this is different. So you guys may have seen this. Um, I think I saw Transworld posted something, um, which is kind of crazy. But anyway, I've seen this shoe posted on some other sites, like first look at the Ashad and all that sort of stuff. The early, like sneaker blogs and stuff like that were releasing the wrong images so this is the image of what's actually coming out um, in the um, what we've seen in the market or the leaks early this was white and the uh, toe was red here and just the heel was red I believe I have images of that um, same thing with the blue um, it was white up here blue on the toe blue on the heel something like that and then something that some of you guys might have liked more was the outsole was gum in those images. But now we've got some Nike regrind uh, material on the outsole, it looks like, and this uh, cool little air bubble in there. So got a little window into the air bubble in the back also. Um, but yeah, this thing, Air Max branding on the heel, pretty damn sick. So um, I don't know if that's why this shoe maybe have come in a little bit late um they just changed up the color and the branding a little bit it was the ashad 2 at first and now we are officially calling this the air max ashad so pretty damn sick i love the materials on this thing i like this big vented side on there because that's going to give you a lot of breathability and then just like your dunks this has your turn and stitch toe cap which is a, uh, I guess, folded and sewn uh, process that makes the toe box hold together longer when you're skating in the shoe so it doesn't blow apart as easily. So there you go, that's your turn and stitch toe cap. And you can see right here, you see the exposed suede where it is not turn and stitch, and then you can kind of see a little fold right there where you can see the, uh, you can see that on dunks as well, but it's kind of hidden in that little loop on dunks but it's not hidden on this shoe you can kind of see where it goes from a traditional stitch to a turn and stitch pattern on there so little uh, strips for breathability on the toe again that's pretty awesome and then you see the Ishad wear branding on the lace stay right there the wear max you know whatever pretty cool another thing you guys might have noticed is you have these like these kind of like hidden lace loops um, so that you don't pop your laces at all. And because of that, this does not come with extra laces. So if you wanted to slap some white or black laces in there, you're on your own. You got to find them for yourself. Um, but dude, I just love this shoe. It's got that cup sole vibe and it's got this uh, kind of Volk vibe as well. Just like the first one, it's like a hybridization of a Volk, a cup and an Air Max sole. So this is pretty sick. Um, I love it. Pretty awesome. Nike SB. Um, got your embroidered swoosh on this side. And it's kind of like a, I don't know what this is. It's just like a cool little plastic swoosh with embroidery around it. So um, nice uh, inside material. It's just your standard um, inside like soft material. Nothing too silky or anything like that. You also have your Lycra tongue straps hidden in there, so you can see those guys right there. 
I love those things. You guys know that. It just keeps your tongue centered. And if the laces do in fact pop, you still have a shoe you can wear because it stays on your foot. Um, this is going to be kind of hard to show right here. But you can see there's this uh, lacing system. It's kind of a cage system. So when you tighten the laces, this whole shoe will tighten around your foot and just give you more stability. So I think that's pretty sick as well. You can see that that's just kind of roped into the lacing system right there. It's pretty epic. I love it. Um, I think this shoe is like the best evolution of like what's going on now with like tech shoes and we're kind of moving away from Volk shoes. Some of you guys reluctantly. But I think like when we went down this Volk path, shoes got very bland. This is a perfect version of like this isn't too tech. It's not too puffy. But I just think it looks not overboard, but the tech we need in skateboarding. That's how I feel about this shoe. That's why I've been looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so let's look at the insole. This thing's crazy. Boom. There you go. You've got a drop-in airbag on this thing. So this is your, your Air Max airbag on the insole, and it drops in. What that does is that removes the midsole of the shoe, so your midsole is built in right there. So you have the full-on impact support, a great cushion in the front, no pour-on on this, but this is a different material for the insole altogether. Um, and it's got this cloth uh, sock liner on there that you can see, so um, Ishad Air Max on the branding right there. Dude, I am just, this, like I said, I can't express more that this is my most anticipated shoe of 2023 arriving in 2024. Yeah, let's go on. Let's just look at the blue one. I've got more to talk about. So, so yeah, this one is my favorite of the two. Right here, you have your white Persian violet obsidian, whatever. Nike's crazy about the colors. You guys know that, but this shoe... Dude, I just I just love this shoe. This is the blue, kind of like a, I guess it's violet, but it looks more like a fading blue to green. Like as you turn this shoe, you can see the swoosh kind of changing color. Just kind of fades from blue to green. I love that. Just super sick. Um, this one has your green outsole on it. Again, looks like some Nike regrind in there. Um, your Air Max detail on the sole I just can't I can't express more that I feel like this is the best evolution of a tech shoe in skateboarding since you know we started moving back into tech shoes there is your Ishad branding on the tongue at the top right there I didn't show you that on the last one it has this cool branding or a cool detail on the tongue too where it kind of splits from this material to this like really cushy soft it's basically the sock liner material, but it's really nice. So Also, when you put this shoe on, because of this lacing system, you can just like pull it right open. It's not crazy. You don't have to really work to unlace this shoe or make it wide enough to fit your foot. So, dude, that said, this shoe does fit your foot really good. In my, in my opinion, it fits way better than the first shot. If you have a narrow foot, you will disagree with me. Um, I don't have an extra wide foot, but it's just right, right in the middle. The one thing, looking at this shoe and looking at how tech it is, I was worried that it was going to feel too bulky and too thick to skate in. You know, like the, the Jordan 4s, super sick shoe, shoe of the year last year, according to most sneaker bloggers and all that sort of stuff. It is a little thick on the sole. It feels um, it feels a little crazy to skate in. It's definitely awesome, but so this one right here, it has the board feel that you need built into the sole, but you don't lose that impact support with this like Air Max vibe in the back. So you still got the impact support, but it is pretty thin. You know, you, they don't have much of a midsole into this shoe. It's all drop in. So you do have a lot of board feel in this shoe as well, which is what I thought you wouldn't have. So, um, dudes, I can't wait to skate a pair of these. I hope you guys love this shoe. Um, this is probably my, dude, this is my favorite 
SB in a long time. I think it's pretty awesome. I loved the Leo as well. Um, it's kind of like a half cab, like a techie half cab. But this shoe, um, it just, I don't know. It's just, it's just what we need. It's tech. It's, it fits your foot a little bit better. Um, but you, you still have board feel in it, which is kind of cool. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I like the Navy one. I like them both. I don't know. That's it guys. I think that is a look at both of these shoes. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. I should have started with this one because I talked about the red one so much more. Um, but I don't know. This is my favorite of the two, I believe. I just, I'm just feeling it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you get a pair, I post in the community section of my videos most of the time a fit guide so everybody can vote on how the shoe fits. Most of the time that's with dunks. I am going to do that with this shoe as well. So if you got a pair already, like maybe you work for a shop or you, you skate for Nike or whatever, if you see this video and you got a pair already, let people know how they fit on the community section or the community tab of this channel. So I think that's it. I think they fit great. If you're asking me, 110 bucks is awesome. The shot is amazing. This shoe, pretty dope. My, like, I can't, I'm going to shut up because I'm just like raving about this shoe too much. So, um, yeah, most anticipated shoe, 2023 arriving in 2024. So, hope you guys love it. See you in the next one. All the best. Love Blue Tile. Peace.